Hey guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to do the disassembly of my MSI GL65 Leopard laptop and then I'm going to do the inside cleaning. I'm going to change the thermal paste as well as clean the CPU fans because lately my computer has been running very hot. It has been crossing 90 degrees Celsius when the CPU load is around 50% which I think is too much. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing is, I just want you to show the things that I'm going to use. So this is a microfiber cloth. I'll be using this to clean the laptop and then also to remove the thermal paste from the CPU and the GPU. This is isopropyl alcohol which I'll use to clean the metallic surface where we apply the thermal paste. Then this is compressed air can. I'll use this to blow the dust from the CPU fans as well as from the inside of the laptop. Then these three I have the metal openers. This is to pry open the body of the laptop. Then these two are the tweezers. This one has a curved top. This one is straight. This is the plastic tweezer. Let me just take this out. So you can see this is the plastic tweezer. So I'll be using this to pry open the laptop initially. Then I have a brush to clean the dust from the interior of the laptops and then I have this screwdriver set and I have this MX4 thermal compound this is one of the nice one out there that you can buy for your laptop and then at the bottom we have this anti-static mat which is very useful for the electronic repairs it comes with this cable which can be attached to any one corner of the mat so I'll just take this wristband and then I'll put here on my wrist. So here is my MSI laptop and then let's start with the unscrewing part. I'll take out all the screws first. So it's been over two years that I have bought this laptop and I have never opened it up. I have never cleaned it and this is the first time I'm doing it. So that means it's going to be very dirty inside. It's going to be very dusty and dirty. So the screws are very simple, you just have to unscrew all of them. So I'll do that one by one. And then the last one will be this one which is under a factory seal which is going to void your laptop. But since my laptop is 2 years old so I can easily break the seal since the warranty is already over. But in case if you are doing it for the first time when your laptop's warranty is not over then it's better that you take your MSI laptop to the service center. The best thing about all the screws is that you can see from here also all of the screws are of the same size so you can just take them out and keep them in any order while screwing them back you can screw them in any order you don't have to remember now once all the screws are out then finally we can take out it from this factory seal I'm going to keep the product link of all the products in the description of this video so you can check out those products from Amazon store and then you can get to know the things or the products that I'm using in this video. Now let's try open this laptop. Now it's a little tough to open it starting from the audio port side so what I suggest is to start from the opposite side where we have the port for power now using this plastic opener we can just start pry open like this this way i hope it's visible you just have to keep going down like this
and you can hear all the clips opening up one by one. Then just try to start taking it out because you can see the gap since I have opened most of the clips. So the clips which are not opening now, you can forget about them and you can start taking out the back cover first. You can see that none of the clips have been broken. So everything is fine. Now the only problem is the dust which you can see. You can see it's full of dust. I'm going to take it out and use my compressed air can and I'm going to blow out the dust. So let's keep it in the side for a while. It's pretty clean actually. It's not that dusty as I imagined it to be but my CPU fans look very dirty I can see the dust near my CPU the fans are very dirty and the rest of the components I can see they are not that dusty so the first thing that you should do after opening your laptop is to take out the battery don't leave the battery there so just take it out it's very simple just have to pull it out now the thing that we need to do is to unscrew these fans and then we are going to take out the heat sink and then we will change the thermal paste so let's get into that so we have to now take out 11 screws it's written here as well starting from here somewhere yes this is one so one then two then three then four then this is five six seven eight 9, 10, 11. So let's start taking them out one by one. This is to take out the sink along with the fan. After taking out the sink, I'll see if I need to take out the fan as well or whether I can do the cleaning with the fans connected with the heat sink. We'll see about that. Then you need to take this one to this side there is 4 this is 5th this one is little different this screw is little different so these screws have a spring with them so they are not going to come out they are just going to be there even if you unscrew them Then these four are for the CPUs. These are a little different. I'll keep them aside. Now we should be able to take out this heat sink. And before doing that, we will have to take out the connector for the fan from here. And then from here, I'll use my tweezers to do that. So if you are opening for the first time, you might have some problem taking it out. But try to start from your fan side, you try to move it from the right side, then you try to move it from the left side after you have taken out all the screws. And then it will come out very easily like this. And you can see this is the condition of my laptop right now. And this is the thermal paste which has evaporated I think it's very less and it's more like a solid right now so we are going to clean this up the fans are also very dirty and it's totally clogged I don't know if you are able to see it or not but the fans are totally clogged this is the CPU this is the GPU so let's clean it first. I am using my microfiber cloth here. You can use cotton or paper towel. You just need to get out all the thermal paste that was there. 
in my case i can see my thermal paste has melted and it has went down on the sides instead i'll just try to get it out as much as possible you can see that so i have cleaned it here and i'm going to clean it on my heat sink as well Right, so I have cleaned it but I'm going to now use isopropyl a little bit I'll use my microfiber cloth I'll just dip a little bit like this I'll clean the GPU and the CPU now I can use the brush Yes, that's it now I have to take this out and then I'm going to use my compressed air can and then I'll blow out all the dust from here all right guys so I have blown all the dust from the fan vents let's keep it here it's time to apply the thermal paste you just have to apply a little bit And if you want to spread it out nicely, you can use a uh, tissue paper. Spread it out nicely. Like this. And you have to remember that too much of thermal paste is not good. Once you're done with that, you can just bring back your heat sink and then we are going to start with the assembly process. Now to start with this, you just have to place it firmly on its original place. So you can start with the fans, put the fans in the correct place and then the rest of them will go to their place automatically like this you can see that so, so simple then you can plug back your fans if you're not able to do it from your hand do it using that tweezers this side also we need to put it back We need to screw them back and these four came out from the processor side so let's start with that I have not tightened any one of them and I'll not do that now Now you can start tightening them one by one, but little bit, not all the way through. So once you're done with all those things, it's time to assemble back. And this is the hard disk, it's a hybrid hard disk of 1 TB and then here I have my Kingston 256 GB solid state drive that is the M.2 type and then here we have the RAM, there are two sticks here each of them with 8 GB.
in the future I'm going to do the laptop upgrade but for now that's all now I just need to put back everything together first thing is the battery so it's very simple you just have to put it back in a way that the connector gets connected like this and just put it down like this and it will settle down to its place and then I'll just blow some air on this back cover as well and then I'll just use my this cloth it looks pretty neat to me now so let's put it back so when you are trying to put back the cover you should put it back from the right side because we have this audio ports which need which need to go inside here so from the right and bottom make sure both these sides are down after that you can just start pushing it like this Keep doing it from all the side till you see no gaps there should be no gap left anywhere if there are no gaps left that means all the clips are in their place and I think all the clips are in their place now I'll just put back the screws and we'll do the same don't tighten them don't make them too tight Start with the diagonal ones. Now start tightening them one by one. So I have put all the screws now, let's try to start the computer and before doing that I will clean it from here as well. Let's start it. So anyways that's all for this video. I, I hope you liked watching the video and you learned how to disassemble and assemble back the MSI GL65 Leopard laptop. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in other videos. Thanks for watching.